Hi everybody, this is it. Probably, this is probably it. Part three of my Rise of the Duelist Booster Box Bonanza. So, first big set opening for me as a channel. Got some pretty good pulls so far. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, rip her open here. And we're gonna hope that for box three here, we get one of those Starlight Rares that have been so elusive. Now, if we're being honest, I'm not holding my breath. You shouldn't be either, because uh, the odds of that are incredibly slim. And if you hear a cat scurrying around in the background here, my cat is going ballistic currently. So uh, that's pretty cool. We get to deal with that for the time being. So we're just gonna go right ahead and uh, move on. Hopefully he calms down. So, um, Got a secret rare, Dogmatica Florellis. If I'm saying that name right, I'm probably not already. And we got a Klesia Ultra Rare. So all in all, um, okay so far. Would like something more, would like to see some uh, better value come out of this. So this is it. Box three. Let's go. All right. Pack one. Pack one. One of 24, obviously. So, what do we have? Dogmatica Nexus, Infernal Light, Maugus, Dark Lord Nurgle, Melfi Mommy, Nemesis Keystone. Got a bunch of those guys already. Super rare. Edge of Scythe, the most uh, valuable common card in the set. Megalith Fool, Melfi Rabby, and Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. Okay. So we're just gonna kinda start with this left side here and work our way through it. Like we're reading a book, left to right. Pack two. What do you have in store? Thunderhand. Another Dogmatic Nexus. Dice Dice. Capricious Dark Lord and another Ricka Queen Strena. Okay, I got one of her in our first box. Not a lot of value there, but still an ultra rare, so we got that going on. Not worth a lot, but there it is. Ancient Warrior Saga. Spiral Discharge. Math, Neck, Diameter, and Spiral Fusion. Okay. You know, I should point out, I have not gotten the Gaia uh, box card, like the, uh, the box art card yet. So, and I think that's only a super rare, I think. So, I'd be curious if I open three boxes and don't get that, I mean... I don't know if that good luck or bad luck I didn't get it, but whatever. Galloping Gaia, Dark Lord, Abyss Actor, Twinkle Little Star, Melfi Playhouse, and DD Dog. Okay, I got a bunch of him. Dogmatic Theo, the Iron Punch, Infinable Arms, yeah, DD Evil, and Samurai Scarecrow. Samurai Scarecrow. He definitely is looking for a brain. That's an old reference. You guys might get it. I mean, I feel like Wizard of Oz is pretty timeless. I mean, the movie's 70 plus years old now and people still talk about it. Dogmatic Nation, Thunderhand, Dogmatic Nexus, Dice Dice, and Dogmatic. Oh, Secret Rare, Dogmatica, Ferellis the Knighted. Okay, second one of these, Secret Rare. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Still a pretty valuable card, but I'd like to see something else going forward, just for variety's sake. Fright for Jar. Indulge Dark Lord, Math Mech Diameter, Heavenly Dragon Circle. Let's take one more look at our friend here. Third Dulles Denighted. Yeah, it's a cool looking secret rare. It really is. But let's get something different coming forward. Let's get something. Let's get another secret rare. Let's well, let's get a better secret rare. Or let's let's get a starlight. Let's pull the starlight from this box. Let's just do it. Let's keep talking about it. I mean it's not gonna happen, but let's do it. Let's do it. Me, my, me. Oh, Curse of Dragon, the Curse Dragon. Dogmatica Encounter. Fright for Cruel Whale. And Blizzard. Okay, it's cold. Not cold out here, though. Melfi Rabby. Infernoble Light Astolfo. Red Potan. And Edge Imp Scythe. He's got a little uh, Kabuto, Kabutops thing looking on going on there. Uh, now we're crossing games, crossing our wires here. I feel like I'm in Ghostbusters and I'm gonna cross some beams. And here we go. Dark Lord. Linkerbell. 
Maugus, Melty Fenny, and what is it? Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. I don't know if I have that or not yet. I think I do. We'll check. I think I do. My boy Roland, the Headless Thompson Gunner, Theo the Iron Punch, Melfi Hide and Seek, and Horn of Oliphant. You know, I see Oliphant, Oliphant, and oh, I'm dropping my comments here. Give me a second. Here, I see Oliphant, and I think of um, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, when the Hobbits are all excited. They've got Oliphants? Oliphants on the battlefield? I know, uh, probably spelled different and probably pronounced different, but that's where my mind goes when I see Horn of Oliphant. DD Arc, Dracoon Lamp, Spiral Reborn, Melfi Fenny, and. Okay, Ultra Rare Infant Noble Knight, Emperor Charles. Okay, our second Ultra Rare of the set. I don't have him, so I'm okay with this pool. I'm okay with this. Drill Driver of Vespinado, Megalith Full, Junk Sleep, Red Potan. So, so far, um, what we're seven in and gotten a secret and two ultras. Yeah, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I, th I think that's, I mean, it's pretty good so far for, for this box, I feel like. Fluffle Dolphin, DD Arc, Galloping Gaia, Frightful Repair, and Heart of the Cards. Melfi Caddy. Well, she's cute at least. She's Melfi, so did Heart of the Cards disappoint us there? Uh, probably. My Kingdom Savager, Junk Sleep. I commented before that I bought a bunch of those uh, Legendary Duelist sets when those came out, and I got so many of the Machina Savagers that I swear to God I'm drowning in them. Like, I, I still am. I get more with this set, and I could probably build a 40-card deck at this point out of Machina Savagers. Fight for Repair. Unauthorized Boot-Up Device. Dark Lord Uprising. Dogmatic Nexus, And we got an Infer Noble Arms Joyuse. I think I already have that one. Not that great but super rare. Performer Pell Card Gardna, Heavenly Dragon Circle, Horn of Oliphant, Melfi Pony. You know, I'm gonna, when this is all said and done and we move on to the next set, I am gonna take take some time and go through and just see with just the Melfi cards I've gotten what kind of deck I can build. It's probably gonna need a lot of support from other stuff, but I wanna see how much I can get away with with just pure Melfi and see how, uh, I don't know, fun that is. Abyss Actor, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, Dark Lord Uprising, come on, Dogmatic Nexus, and Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. Okay, another one of those. Got those. Got that guy before. Dogmatic of Punishment, Spiral Fusion, Melfi Pony, and Spiral Discharge. Okay, so two packs left on the left side here. So ten packs in, two Ultras, a Secret. And uh, seven supers, I think that comes out to be. Maugus. Ma 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 yeah, Maugus. Sure, whatever. Dark Lord Nurgle. Melfi Mommy. Dogmatic Nation. And, mmm, Red Time Reviter Emitter. So that's a palindrome, if you didn't notice that. Red Time Reviter Reviter Emitter. Interesting. Dogmatic Punishment. Fright for Jar. Dogmatic Theo the Iron Punch. Indulge Dark Lord. Okay. Last pack on the left side. This is not the pack of destiny. This is not the heart of the cards pack. This is just this is just another one. This is just uh, this is just the last in a line of cards on the left. It's gonna be this side. This is gonna be where the last pack is gonna bring fire. Dice, dice, Melfi Fenny, Thunder Hand, Dark Lord Nurgle, Soldier Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay, uh, another one of those. I'm pretty sure I have that guy already. Infernoble Arms, Ancient Warrior Saga, East by South Winds, Dark Lord, Dogmatic Theo, the Iron Punch. Ah, Theo. Now I'm thinking of Coet and Cambria, Iron Fist. If you guys are Coet and Cambria fans, uh, let me know down below. All right, Rise of the Duelist, pack number 13. Come on. All right. Fury of Kerushin, Unauthorized Boot-Up Device, Abyss Actor, Alpha Tag, Redeemable Jar, Meh, Infernoble Arms, TD Devil, Samurai Scarecrow, Melfi, Rabbi.
Okay. Redeemable jar. Not that great. Not that great. You know, the supers in this set are not that great. They really aren't, value-wise. Uh, Linker Bell, Maugus, Fenny, Dolphin, Performer Pal, Odd Eyes, Metal Claw. Another one of those uh, not very valuable super rares. <laughs> Where we're seeing commons. Um, outvalue it. Vespinado, Howdicler, Machina Savinger, Infernoble Knight Astolfo. Astolfo. That's a fun, that's a fun one. All right. And pack number three off the right side. I probably. Sure, that sounds right. Spiral Reborn, Dracoon Lamp, Threat for a Cruel Whale, Fluffle Dolphin, and Fallen of Albez. Another Fallen of Albez. This is my third Fallen of Albez. Ah, uh, I mean, I like the guy and all, but. Like, can I get anything else? Any other secret rares? Come on. Now, ah, uh, man. Okay. Got him. Cool. Whatever. But I want something different. Stolfo, Potan, Edge Imp Scythe, Espinado. So two secret rares out of this so far. I mean, I guess you can't be upset about that, but still, like, I want something different, man. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go! DD Arc, Galloping Gaia, Fright Fur Repair, Twinkle Little Star, Another Nemesis Keystone, Boo, we don't want you here, Roland, Evil, Melfi Hide and Seek, Ancient Warrior Saga East by Southwinds, well, that's what that was, okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left, so we're getting down to it here. The last uh, third, two thirds of the way through, two secret rares. I think we got two ultra ultra rares, and everything else is just uh, super and <laughs> not very great supers. Dogmatica Encounter, Capricious Dark Lord, Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell, and Jelenica, the Deep Sea City. You again, huh? Megalith Fool, Junk Sleep, Red Potan. From a pal, Card Gardener. Okay. That, so what else we got? That's a 20 plus dollar card, but Elbez is only like five or six. So, not the best secret we could have pulled there for Elbez. Still pretty happy with uh, Thordellus, though. I'm butchering that name, I'm sure. Someone's going to correct me down below, and by all means, please do. Of course, a dragon, the Cursed Dragon. Dark Lord Uprising. Dogmatic Nexus. Dice, dice. Oh, Shadal Schisms, Ultra Rare. I don't have this one yet. Do not. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay, all right, we're back. We're Guys, we're back. We should pull some fire here at the end. Edge Imp Scythe, Megalith Fool, Melfi Rabbi, Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. All right, we're back. We're back in saddle again. We're back, I don't know. We're just, we're just back. We're gonna start pulling some good stuff again. That Scattle Schism is going to be the catalyst that ignites this fire. The spark, if you will. Boot up device, Malfi Taggy. <laughs> Tag. Fury of Kirushin. Dogmatic Nation. And Speed Droid Block and Roll. Super rare. Don't have that yet. Gibson Flying V with a banjo wannabe. Attached to it there. Cool. Dragon Circle. Horn of Oliphant. Malfi Pony. Dogmatica Punishment. Punishment. So we're down to last five here. Okay. Crunch time. We got that shadow schism. It's a good sign. That schism just tells me that there's there's good stuff ahead. I know the ratios and all common sense would you know disagree, but uh, I'm gonna go with it. Melfi Fenny, Thunderhand, Dark Lord Nurgle, Tree of Kirushin. Guy the Magical Knight, okay. Still looking for that cover card. And Fright for Jar. Indulge Dark Lord, Math Mech Diameter, Heavenly Dragon Circle. Can make some circles, can be pretty heavenly. Get some dragons in there, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Pack number four of the last four. So, three after this. Galloping Gaia, Dark Lord, Abyss Acker, Twinkle Little Star, 
Melfi Playhouse, and Dogmatica, Aid in the Enlightened. I already have one of him. And uh, not a very valuable Dogmatic card, as it turns out. Not valuable at all. Fright for Jar, Dogmatica Theo, Indulge Dark Lord, Ancient Warrior Saga, East by South Winds. East by South Winds. Outstanding. Outstanding. We're getting down there, guys. Give me something good. Give me some good vibes. Sing a song for me. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe give me a little tune, a little hum. Boot up the vice. Twinkle, little star. Melfi tag. Spow reborn. And Raid Raptor Arsenal Falcon. Get out of here. Roland, my boy. Dogmatic Theo. Melfi hide and seek. Horn of Alifant. All right, this is it. This is it. Two packs left. What will it be? Can we pull another secret out of this? We already got two secrets in this box. What, three, four ultras? So I guess, you know, I'm not holding my breath, but we should get something good. Let's just do it. Let's get something good. Melfi Mommy. Curse of Dragon, the Curse Dragon. Dogmatic Encounter. Fright for Cruel Whale and Infra Noble Knight. Ogier, don't have infra don't have this card. Super rare, but don't have it. We'll see what that's worth. Spiral Discharge, Math Mech Diameter, Spiral Fusion, Drill Driver Vespinato. Okay. This is the Pack of Destiny. This is what it all came down to. Our three-part Rise of the Duelist Extravaganza Bonanza. Comes down to this. Will it live up to the expectations? Will it let us down? Let's find out. Heart of the cards guide us. Let's go. Dracoon Lamp. Freight for Cruel Whale. Fluffle Dolphin. Dogmatic Counter. And Artillery Catapult Turtle. Ultra rare, but not that expensive of a, of a card. I'll take the Ultra. That's cool. Classic card. So, I don't know. Not upset going out in an Ultra. But could have been better. Then we got Vespamato, Card Gardener, Makina Resavenger, Junk Sleep. Okay, so we're going to check out what we got, see what the values are, and we'll see you soon. Here we are. Top five of the third Rise of the Duels booster box. Number five, Artillery Catapult Turtle. So wasn't initially super thrilled about pulling this guy. Um just because I hadn't heard the best thing about him. Another uh, YouTuber is just saying he wasn't that valuable, this and that. But uh, definitely brings back a lot of cool memories. Classic card. Uh, just, I don't know, I, I'm pretty happy with it. He came in at a buck fifty-two as of uh, the filming of this. So, yeah. In the end, uh, pretty happy with old artillery catapult turtle. Number four. Another ultra rare. In for Noble Knight Emperor Charles. He came in at a buck sixty-two, and a really cool-looking card. I'm not too familiar with these uh, In for Noble Knight cards, uh, Synchro Monster here, but uh, I'll give him a read over and learn more about him. But really cool-looking card. I mean, just love the art. Not quite sure what else to say, but really cool-looking card. There's gonna be a little something up there on his uh, star up there, though. Interesting. Oh. Just a flaw in the hollow. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, buck sixty-two there for Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles. Number three. Ah, yes, Fallen of Elbez. You again. Um <laughs> You know, I'm not quite sure what else I can say about this card. It's cool looking. I like it. I like dragons. But my third secret rare Fallen of Elbez in my third box. It's kinda like, okay. Okay, I see you, I've had enough of you. Um but you know, take care. Uh, he came in at five dollars and sixty-six cents. I'm sorry, sixty-five cents. Five sixty-five for our boy Fallen of Elbez here. Okay, number two. Uh, this one should be pretty obvious. Um, Shadal Schism. Really cool card. Had heard about this. Uh, my first time pulling it in this box set here. Uh, he came in at 677. Well, you know, trap card. It came in at 677. So happy with this pool. Really cool card. Hope it goes up in value. Um, seems like a really good trap too. And last, and this is the second time this card has been my number one pool. Our boy Dogmatica Flordelis the Knighted Secret Rare 
$24.38 as of this video. And i um, happy with him. A very, very valuable card from the set. Hopefully he goes up in value as well. Dogmatica seems to be, uh, seems to be the, the move going forward with a lot of people. So uh, happy with this. This is my actually third time in a row in this set that a Dogmatica card has been the, uh, the top getter. I had a Klesia the first time. She was an ultra rare. So there we have it. Box three, the Bonanza, it's over. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I have a lot of cool stuff, um, product I call it, coming our way, uh, your way in the near future here. So stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get a couple videos out a week, some two or three, depending on when I have time to film, edit, uh, buy the stuff, you get it. So thanks for watching. Uh, you guys take care, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the routine and uh, we'll see you soon. Let's go.